Hey kids, there's something in the magic mailbox. Let's see what it is. 10 minutes to bed, little dinosaur. This is such a cute story about a rambunctious dinosaur who has to be reminded, 10 minutes to bed. He's got a lot to fit in before bedtime. So let's find out what this little dinosaur is going to do before he goes to bed. 10 minutes to bed, little dinosaur. In a faraway land, across mountains and seas, where strange creatures live among tall jungle trees, there can often be heard a great echoing roar. Ten minutes to bed, little dinosaur. With three pointed horns and four great big feet, Rumble was crashing around in the heat. Nine, Nine minutes, minutes to bed. Don't, don't go, go far, <whistles> warned his mom. <whistles> but this little dinosaur loved to have fun. <whistles> Deep in the jungle, a hullabaloo. <whistles> Frogs hopped around as birds fluttered and flew. Eight minutes to bed, came the call loud and strong as Rumble the dinosaur thundered along. <coughs> Splashing around in a warm pool of mud and chasing his tail till he fell with a thud. He knew there were just seven minutes to bed, but Rumble preferred an adventure instead. <coughs> Passing through mountains, he heard a strange sound. The world seemed to tremble from deep underground. He looked to the sky with six minutes to go and saw a volcano beginning to glow. From the sky came a roar. Rumble stumbled and ducked. The volcano began to erupt. Hot lava bubbled. The sky filled with ash. Rocks crumbled and fell to the ground with a crash. From out of the valley poured dinosaurs small, dinosaurs heavy, and dinosaurs tall. The ground shook as they all hurtled past. Five minutes, they said, so you'd better run fast. As he ran with his heart beating fast in his chest, Rumble finally saw a safe place he could rest. Four minutes to bed, but where am I, I wonder? From high in the sky came a loud roll of thunder. Below a great mountain where birds swoop and soar lay Rumble, the littlest dinosaur. <coughs> Three minutes to bed, said a voice from the gloom, and a shadow appeared by the light of the moon. On four great big feet, she bent down to her son. Rumble opened his eyes and looked up at his mom. Two, Two minutes, minutes, she said. You are never alone. <coughs> then at last, side by side, they both shuffled back home. <coughs> Three, 
The evening was bathed in a soft silver light. As his mom tucked him in, and she kissed him good night. One minute to bed. That means no more exploring. But Rumble was already fast asleep, snoring. <sighs> Here is the land of Nod, where Rumble lives. Let's take a look around. Here are the floating islands. Look at the dragon in the water. And here is the black mountain where the volcano erupted. Then there's Enchanted Valley. And I think that might be Rumble. And the gloomy den with the glowing yellow eyes. And Glitter Bay has a pirate ship. Look at Creepy Castle. Ooh, I wonder who lives there. Snowy Village looks like a cold place to stay. Boulder Gorge looks pretty cool. You might want to hike around there. And also the rickety bridge. Have you ever walked across a wooden bridge? They can be rickety. Giant's Town looks pretty big. And then you have the ancient forest right above it with two unicorns. Emerald Glen looks pretty wide open. And then down below you have the stinky swamps with a crocodile peeking out. You also have the Golden Cove with maybe a mermaid sticking out. And then last but not least, way up high in the corner, is outer space. What a cool place for Rumble to live. Thank you for joining me today to read 10 Minutes to Bed, Little Dinosaur. I just want to do a fan shout out real quick. This is Noah, my reading friend from Las Vegas, Nevada. I am so happy that Noah enjoys Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Hi, Noah! If you want a fan shout out, make sure to have your parents message me on Facebook at Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.